Meantime, a startup prosthetic company just moved from Chicago to San Diego and is hoping to make us the bionics capital of the world. The hand they've built is fast, precise, waterproof, and gives those who've lost a limb the ability to even feel their fingers again. Yeah, this is truly just incredible. I was able to get kind of a look at the future today. It could be the future for amputees. This startup called Psionic actually chose San Diego Scripps Ranch to be specific because of our strong military ties. Also, the innovative med tech work being done at UC San Diego and the Challenged Athletes Foundation. So the prosthetic hand they've created is controlled using your own muscles. And when the hand is touched, there will be a vibration within the socket. It's built on a 3D printer right here in San Diego. A leg is also now in the works. There are currently 80 people in the U.S. who have one of these bionic hands, but as you can imagine, the demand is growing. NASA even purchased one to see what they can do with this hand in space from here on Earth. The founder and CEO is equally impressive. After meeting someone in his native Pakistan who had lost a leg and was using a tree branch as a crutch, he became laser focused on prosthetics. At just 36, he has a bachelor's in biology, a master's in computer science, another master's in electrical and computer engineering, and a PhD in neuroscience. This is the first hand to give users touch feedback. So our first patient in the U.S. is an army sergeant who lost his hand in Iraq in 2005, um, Sergeant Garrett Anderson. And when he holds his daughter's hand, he can actually feel it. And that's something that no other bionic hand on the market is able to do. And uh, you know that's why we do what we do, so we can give back um, to those who have uh, helped us so much. Yeah, there have been nine different versions of this hand since 2014 that really only seem to keep improving. Psionic is now working on surgeries that would connect these hands directly to the bones and nerves. This bionic hand is actually now covered by Medicare. Before that, only 10% could afford it. That is now up to 75%. Wow. Reporting live in studio, Jenny Day, CBS 8.